Man, I'm a mob, bro. Russian edge rusher, and I got Knicks. You next up, and you ain't been on sports like talk. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, you better hit him up. Look, you breaking next, and you up next. Keep the queens go hard. Rise a star on the big scene, make them know who you are. You don't break a sweat, don't set up for less. They put you through that test. Your resume that flex. Who got next? Who got next? SLT, ready to go. Who got next? Who got next? Living my dreams and all your goals. Who got next? Who got next? You can ask B. Jones or head coach. Who got next? Who got next? You next up, so here's my vote. Chill. Welcome back to another fire episode of Sports Life Talks. You got next a platform that gives exposure to the voices of tomorrow. We are talking to rising stars in our communities who are doing big things and accomplishing big dreams. And today we are back with the Future Phenom series. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm back home now. I'm from Louisiana. I'm from Louisiana. We got them, ladies and gentlemen. Go, bro, is in the building. Hey, one of the baddest men on the field. I'm telling y'all, this boy is going to eat this next year. Coming in at 6'4", 255. Class of 2024, Edge Russia. Currently a three-star. Will be a four-star here within the next month or two. We got him, fam. We got him. Amar, bro, is in the building. How you doing, Amar? I'm doing good. You know, just living. You know what I mean? Oh, you living, you living by, by, you making a living by just killing these tackles out there in the, in the northeast corner, of Louisiana, bro. You just, you, you raising hell out there, and I'm so, I'm super excited to have you on the show, man. You ready to work? Yes, sir. I'm ready to work. Let's get it. All right, let's get it. Hey, check this out. If this is your first time watching the show, well, thank you for joining us. Welcome to your new favorite platform. I am your host, the mouth of the South B. Jones, a true Louisiana man. And I am the you Mr. the Yeet himself. I'm rocking alongside my brother from another mother, the head coach, the architect, the guru, my partner in crime. KT, how you feeling today, man? B. Jones, I'm feeling great because we got a stud on the show, but this, this Louisiana stuff is going to drive me crazy this episode. But you know what? I got time today. So, B. Jones, let's do it, man. Let's go. Hey, this is going to... I'm telling y'all, buckle up because this is only the beginning of the future for this young man. And we, we about to tell y'all more about his story. But check this out, Rustin. If this is your first time checking out the show again, thank you. We got to pay the bills. Come on. We need y'all to rock with us and show us some love. I'm from Louisiana, so I know y'all about to show up and show out. Show us who got the wildest high school out there in the nation. Y'all, come on. Show some love and some support. On the count of three, we need y'all to smash that subscribe button. Bro, bro, are they rocking with us? Oh, yeah, they're rocking with us. They're rocking with y'all. All right, here we go. On the count of three. One, two, three. Boom. Welcome to the family. We don't do we don't do fans. We don't do followers. We do family members around this, so I'm your new play cousin, and we appreciate y'all tagging along and rocking with us. But uh, without further ado, it is time to get into the show. We're going to take some time. We got to get to know you a little bit before before we start talking about you eating up on these quarterbacks and left tackles. We got to get to know you, the man behind the mask. All right, Amad? So here we go. Welcome to the Sports Light Talk initiation. Let's get it. All right. To initiate you into the SLT family, you got to give us your top five music artists. Top five music artists. Okay, so number one, I'll rip J. Cole. One. This my guy. This my J. guy. Number one. Now, number two, it got to be young boy, man. It got to. Louisiana not- through and through. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Wayne, number three. <sighs> Wayne. The original. The Wayne. original Louisiana animal. All right, come on, man. Let's go. We working. Let's see, let's see, man. Uh, who else? Gotta be. Who else, bro? I'm trying to think. Oh, it gotta be. Uh, I listen to Zero. I listen okay. To Zero. 
Now Houston. that's a, I was about to say now that's a different one. I don't think we've ever had zero name brought on the show. So 325 episodes this is the first time somebody showing some love to zero. So that's dope. Real most underrated rapper on the planet, man. Real. Okay. Okay. Nah, my my number five. It gotta be uh I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. Oh, Drake. Drake for sure. Drizzy. All right. I, I love that top five, KT. He sprinkled in some Louisiana on there. I mean, it was all hitters. It was straight killers all the way through. So what you doing, KT? And I'm trying my best to hate on them, too. <clears throat> all right, so what we like to do, we like to uh, rank your top five. Five is the highest you can get. But for my boy, uh, B. Jones, for Louisiana, he has, what, 12 offers, B. Jones? Yep. This is for you, B. Give him 12. That's the most we can gave, but I'm going to tell you something, KT. He got 12 offers, but it's only one that really matters. And we're going to talk about that one. We might have to talk about that one here today. Now, they won't see this today, but we're going to talk about it today. And then they'll be able to hear, you. before you even exposed it, they'll be able to hear what your thoughts were and why you made that decision. But uh, well, let's get this thing started. Let's go, KT. All right, so who is your favorite superhero and why? My favorite superhero, it got to be, uh... It gotta be Spider Man, man. You know what I mean? Spider Man is like, you know, I don't know why I've been drawing a dude since I was like a little toddler. You know, it never changed. Like, he really described me, you know what I'm saying, as a person, you know. Uh, so, so, what you're telling us here. is that you get in a lot of trouble and then you're able to fix it later on, right? Because that's what Spider Man does. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's what B. Jones like to say. He says that Spider-Man causes all the problems, and then he has to go and fix everything. So I don't, I don't, want, I don't want Spider-Man helping me. You good? You good, Spider-Man? Uh, <laughs> hey, but he cold though. But Kevin, My, are you the Miles Morales Spider-Man? Cause he cold. Nah, bro. I'm, I'm Peter Parker. Oh, okay, he's saying Peter Parker. Okay, all right. Yeah. All right, all right, Peter Parker. Uh, what would your uh, theme song be? Theme song. It would uh, dang, what would it be, man? It's gotta be, it gotta be a young boy intro, man. I ain't gonna lie, it gotta be. No, 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 I lied. Chief Keith love Sosa, for real. Oh, that, that Chief Keith go hard. Chief Keith love Sosa. Yeah, you know, we, yeah. we, would never, we would never talk negative about him because we don't want. I won't say anymore. a bad word about Chief Keith. <laughs> no way. Never ever. Right. Never. I mean, I'm from Louisiana, but I don't, you know, we don't mess with Chicago. Oh, so, oh no, no you sir. Heard the, you heard the intro on Love Sosa. You know how you went off on that. So, hey, I don't think you want the problems. So. No, no, we already know. We, we've already came to a conclusion that that's one person we're not going to mess with. All right. So, if you could shadow anyone from a week for a week and learn from them, they could be either dead or alive. Who would it be and why? Probably Muhammad Ali. Like, Ooh. Muhammad Ali, because, you know, his confidence, you know, his character, the way he, like, you know, shook fear into people, just off of how he spoke and, and his confidence, you know what I'm saying? If I shadow that, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to stop him. So. No yeah. doubt, man. That was a great choice. All so, right. So, all right. So, if you're still watching this, and we hope you are, smash that subscribe button. Hit the like button and leave us your top five music artists, your theme song, and your favorite superhero in our comments. Please allow me to reintroduce our newest family member, Helen from Ruston, Louisiana. AB. AB, thank you for joining us. B. Jones, go ahead and take it away, brother. Ahmad, 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 AB. Is that what your friends call you, AB? Oh, no, they call me bro. That bro, that was, I, li I like bro. That was, bro, oh, yeah, but I went with AB. I saw that issue. <laughs> nah, I went with that one. My bad. My bad, hey, bro. No, I'm gonna call, call him 93. You know what I'm saying? Because we got 93 in the building. Yeah. All right, Amar, man. Now, now, you're not from Rusty. Where, where are you originally from, man? I'm from Karen Crow, matter of fact. Okay, so you from the New Orleans kind of area, right? That's down south, south, right? No, I like the, left, like the Lafayette area, like right above Lafayette. Lafayette. Okay, yep, okay. Yeah. Man, so so you moved up there to Ruston not too long ago? Uh, like, it's, I moved, I first moved up there in sixth grade, actually. Like, so my mom, she was traveling. I was living in North Carolina with my dad. 
uh, cause she couldn't like take me traveling, of course, you know, on a travel job. So I went up there and then I moved back on Christmas. She happened to be in Ruston like for a travel job. And once I moved back, we just stayed there. Man, um, that's dope. There's some yeah. good, there's some good people around Ruston, man. Some good people. It's some good eating. Shout out, shout out to my boy, Pig Gumbo. He know who I'm talking to. He probably going to be watching this. He's uh he's a, a, a man. He's the one that turned me on to your mind. So I got, I got to give him some props. He said, B Jones, if you, if you want an up and comer, that's about to rise. He said, this dude is up next. And so uh, he turned me on to you. But, uh, but so when did you fall in love with football, Lamont? Oh, uh, I ain't going to lie. Uh, it had to be probably ninth grade. Like, I didn't start early. You know what I mean, like before that, I was I was playing instruments. Really. <laughs> like, what, were you in the band? You was a band kid. I wasn't. You know, I wasn't no band kid. I was a kid in band. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right. Yeah. So like, I uh, I started playing saxophone in the fourth grade when I was a lefty. You know what I'm saying? Because you know that's our thing down there. We like you know. Jazzing people up, you know what I mean? So, yep, yep. Yeah, that's what I that's what I got into. Now, uh, now, Maude, my, I hope my wife ain't seeing this, but I got plenty of troubles in the band too, but probably not for the right reasons. All right, Maude. <laughs> <I, laughs> um, so, so now, w- when did you start playing football, my guy? So you start playing football. When, when did you when did you turn it on? When when did you become this monster? Uh, I first started playing in fifth grade. And I didn't like it. I sat the bench. Uh, <laughs> then when seventh grade hit, I'm, that's when I was in Ruston. I played left tackle for the junior high. And that's when I started, like, you know, just playing. You know, I was just finding something to do. Eighth grade, I did the same thing. I was just playing. I didn't even know if I wanted to take it serious or not. Uh, and when ninth grade came, that's when I really started taking it serious because, you know, I was growing into myself. You know what I mean? So and I knew what I wanted to do. And what? Yeah. Well, people people who watch your huddle, I, I challenge everybody who's watching this to go check out this young man's huddle. He crazy with it. I'm telling y'all, what he's about to tell you is going to floor you. You are going to be floored because up until last year, you played all offense. You just made the transition to defensive end, and in your first year, you became hell on the field. You was all district first team. Tell us what that transition was like, and, and who, who made that suggestion for you to change your positions? Uh, uh, so, like, when I first got here, like, so when I first got to Ruston High School, we had Dennis Williams, Christian Davis, Jordan Guidry, and uh, me. Frank Kelly, all on the D-line, right? So, went through the whole spring playing D-line. And then, I don't know how, we had we had five tight ends. Uh, all five of them got hurt. All five. So. Wow. Yeah, like, uh, one, one, took, one messed up his shoulder, another one, I forgot what happened. One messed up his knee, he was out for weeks. Uh, and... Since we had a surplus of D linemen, they were like, "Yeah, uh, you know, you and Gidry can like rotate it, you know, tight end, D end." But uh, something happened to where Gidry got injured, like, uh, cause at Ruston, we had like this thing where if you're not a senior, you have to play JV. You have to play okay. JV, no matter who you are. So, um, he got hurt in the JV game, and then it was right before we played Neville Week One, my sophomore year. So they were like, yeah, you got to go to tight end full time and play defense. So yeah. after like after that game, I was tearing them up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> up, tight end, like, and then the same game, I got a sack. But like after Jordan came back, we figured, yeah, we don't even need to rotate no more. So uh, I stayed a tight end full time that season. And when I run running offense, they needed me over there. So. That's what happened there. So after that season, uh, my coach actually, he was getting a lot of college coaches coming up to the school saying, you know, why he ain't, you know, why he ain't playing DN. There was their suggestion. They were suggesting to him, like, I moved to DN. So the meetings after the season ended, after we played Destrahan uh, in the third round, he was like, yeah, uh, this this next season we're going to play you more, you know, DN. I think that's going to be a good move for you. 
goes both. Um, in that spring, uh, that's when I got my first uh, college visit. I ain't played. I ain't played a snap at the end. Uh, I ain't played a full game at the end. Uh, up, up until that point when I visited uh, Louisiana Tech on that junior day, and I went up there. I got my first offer at the end. I thought it was for tight end. They were like, "Nah, you edge rusher." So I'm like, "Dang, okay." So uh, spring came up. And that's when the traction really started coming, you know what I'm saying? I got started getting more connections to colleges because, like, they saw I was just out there hustling. You know what I mean? That transition really wasn't that hard, honestly. It's just like, you know, you got to you gotta have that certain type of dog in you, you know what I'm saying? I had a defensive mentality on offense. When I brought it over to defense, I turned it up. So. Man, so 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 for those who haven't seen you play, how would you describe your game? Like, what are your what are your Madden badges? What what are, what are your your three core strengths that you oh. like you that you pride yourself in? Man, three core strengths. Uh, one, the biggest one is my physicality. Like, after you finish playing me, your head gonna start hurting. <laughs> <laughs> you have to take your Tylenol for real. Like, you know, the head head first, hand second. So I do. Got second, uh, got to be my speed. Like Ooh. probably one of the biggest. Like you know, for my size, I'm fast. Like fast. yes, yeah. So like when I was last year, when I was two forty at the Gremlin camp, I went to the Gremlin camp uh, just down the road. I ran four seven. I was like two forty at the time. Like that, I think that's a uh, yeah, that's my biggest uh, one of my biggest you know advantages too. My third. It gotta be um, hmm. it gotta be my IQ. I like it. Uh, yeah. I like that. You're a smart player, man. Well, well, we previously had BJ Ojolari on the show, and I don't know why I'm feel I'm getting that kind of vibe from you, man. You like ah, dog, you, you, Von Miller isk. I'm just telling y'all go watch this highlight film. And that's only a year of playing defensive end. So, uh, so now you you today broke some big news. Y'all not gonna watch this for a couple of weeks, as you know we got we got to take it through post production, but. Today broke news that you decommitted from Duke, and uh, you had a big time commitment. You were there for a long time, but then yesterday you got an offer from the home state. I, I just want to talk about what it meant to you to get that offer from Louisiana State University. I I'm gonna tell y'all, being from Louisiana, it's it's the crown jewel, right? It's it's if you're a kid, even if you don't go to LSU, you want to earn that LSU offer because it means something. Tell us what that experience was like for you, Ahmad. And that experience was crazy. Like, the minute I walked in, you know what I'm saying, I was welcomed, you know what I mean, by Coach Kane, you know, D-line coach. Felt at home from the jump, uh, especially being in Baton Rouge, you know, South Louisiana where I was raised. And uh, walked in, you know, the system that they got put in place for, like, you know, helping you with, you know, your education, yep. outside, you know, everything outside of football, and the stuff that they got going on, like, a system that really fit me. I was like, dang, this sounds good. <laughs> it's looking good. Like, so, man, uh, J JR, JR building, you know, he, he, he's the one who's been building this relationship with me leading up to that visit. So when I got there, um, you know, welcome by him too. You know, that's my boy. So this was during the photo shoot right before it. So I got dressed. I was in everything. So then he stopped me. I was going to go to the, to the, you know, the backdrops. He stopped me. And then he was on the phone, I think, with Coach Kelly. Man, uh, then I, I looked down I looked down the uh, the locker room. I see Coach Kelly talking to my mom and my dad. And my stepdad. Yeah, I see him talking to my mom and my stepdad. So he told me to wait right here. And then when he told me to go over there, man, Coach Kelly looked. And he dad, dad me up. You know what I mean? He, then he told me, like, you know, what you're doing in the classroom, like, is amazing. You know what I mean? You're doing great things in the classroom. Then he told me, you know, we're working on getting some things together for you. And uh, and then he said, yeah, uh, I'm going to be back soon and to, to let you know. So this is after I took my pictures. Um, the backdrop. And... But yeah, after I after I got out, he was waiting for me. And 
he shook my hand, told me, you have a full ride scholarship. You'll be on the full ride scholarship to Louisiana State University, man. I started jumping on my boots. <laughs> <laughs> well, what your what your mom and stepdad say to you when, when you got that news? Man, they was excited too, like for real. They was excited. Well, like, I'm a I can tell you this, the whole state is on fire about you, Amar, bro. We started getting text messages, the, the 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 fan chat room started going up and going crazy. And people look at this thing, and I think these stars have just gotten out of control. They say, oh, he's only a three-star. Y'all ain't understanding what's going on. He's only a three-star because he didn't have as much exposure. Yep. And when you watch this kid play, he is a top 100 five-star kid on the field off the field and this is the kind of kid you want to come to your program so i know you got 12 offers i know this lsu offer mean a lot to you but what are you thinking right now what are you looking for in a college and uh what what what, what uh, you reopened your recruitment so you know if lsu came that mean bama coming georgia coming florida coming arkansas oh i mean you you're about to start getting blown up your recruitment is about to go crazy but uh but what are you looking for in the school I'm looking for uh, for family for one, you know, somewhere I can really, you know, buck, like combine with my teammates, my coaches too, all four years, and somewhere like I actually want to live. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I feel like LSU really fit that description. So, 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 can can, can we go? I know they're not gonna see this for another two weeks, but can, can, is, you, is you trying to tell us something tomorrow? Can, can we make it official? I think I'm trying to tell you something. Ah. Uh, <laughs> hey, you gonna be? We got the new, the future at number eighteen in the building. Oh my goodness, this man! Hey, Amar, that's the first commitment we've ever had on the show, dog. That's that's yeah, super you know what B Jones. You know what B Jones. First, <laughs> oh y'all, man. Since, it, since this is huge, this is really big news, man. Congratulations! I know I hate on LSU. That's really a great program. You know what I'm gonna do today, B Jones? What's that? Once this show is over with. We I'm pointed going, it out. No, listen. I'm going to Lids. I'm going to get an LSU hat. Okay. Okay. Just, All just right. you know, no, I will put the show out. We got to make sure that he's already committed and everything. Yeah, first yeah. Put the show out. But we'll try to get this show out this week too, man. Man, that's gonna be super dope. That's gonna be super dope. So you excited to go live in Baton Rouge? I mean, okay. what's your expectations? What 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 are you looking forward to getting down there to the big raggedy to the BR? Man, I'm finna I'm finna eat some A two Fay, bro. <laughs> Hey, did they did they take you through the cafeteria to show, man? I'm dude, bro. That is probably the dopest facilities I've ever seen. The man, food is like crazy, man. They 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 cook it like for like it's crazy. And then <laughs> like, that thing called victory, like victory Sundays, where like they theme the food after uh like who they beat. Like for example, like if they beat Florida State, they'll have tomahawk steaks the next day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so that's gonna be that's gonna be kind of interesting. All right, so so let's uh let's move on, man. You got your senior year coming up. What what are you most excited about your last year, Rustin? And what do you want to get accomplished in this uh in this last season? Man, I want to finish what we left on the table. Everybody know about that. You know what I'm saying? Going to the dawn, tragic loss, but you know what I'm saying we're gonna do this. We're gonna run it back next year. We're gonna be Easton for one week one. Trying to beat them, and we're gonna we're gonna make it to the big game and win that and make history. Well, I'm coming down there for show. My my boy Brian gonna show me around. We're gonna come see you out there. Come come shake your hand. Uh, and uh, t tell us a little bit about I, I, in the classroom. You, you you talked about Coach Kelly gave you some accolades for your for your grades. I, and what are you planning on majoring when you get down to LSU? Oh, uh, computer science, and software engineering. Oh, this boy is the truth, man. Yeah. I, 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 I'm telling you, I'm so glad to be you, you, you my play cousin. Just be, just be in your presence, man. This thing is gonna be crazy. Now you got to tell. We got to leave off on a fun note. What's something that? What's a unique talent that's not playing football? What's a unique talent that you have that not too many people know about? A unique talent. I build. I build computers from scratch. From scratch. Oh. I got my gaming computer. Okay, you a gamer? You play some games too? Gamer. Yeah, all right, well, we're going we to talk about that uh, after the show, yeah, man. You, you, that, you got yeah. a PS5? I ain't got no PS5. I got a, I got a gaming PC. Okay. I think we can still play cross-platform. We can still, we can still yeah, do a thing or two cross-platform. But, uh, but you know what? This is the time we got to play a different type of game. Amar, bro. Bro, bro. Welcome 
two championship rounds. This is the part of the show with Kevin and I. We go one on one, and you are now officially calling all the shots. All right. Have you ever played a game called Would You Rather before? Yeah. All right, so the rules are very simple, ladies and gentlemen. Both of us will make a pitch. He selects one of those pitch. Whichever host he selects, that host gets a point. The first host to get two points or the best out of three will win this episode game of championship rounds. And round three, we got a little something special for you. All right, bro? All right, here we go. Round number one, I am the defending champion. That's right. <sighs> so we're going to do it that way. All right, here we go. Round number one, bro. Would you rather get the game winning sack to make it to the state final game? So that means in the semifinals, you get the game winning sack and you guarantee the spot in the championship game or get a scoop and score that ties the game in the state championship. Scoop and score. Scoop and score. Because, I mean, and you're already in the state game. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're already in the state game. I'm not gonna knock him. He, hey, he already committed on the show. He LSU. I'm not. I'm not giving him no negatives. Hey, all right, here we go. Round number two. All right, round number two. Would you rather become an All American and a Player of the Year candidate on an up and coming team, or or would you rather graduate a champion and be a role player on a national championship LSU team? Role player LSU team. Yeah, I saw that one. What he said LSU. I already knew I was done. <laughs> yeah, I gave him six. Six money rolls on that one. All right, here we go. So round number three, the game is tied one-on-one. -on -one. So part of our Wednesday night show, we go live. It's Sports Life Talk, but it's more than a sports show. We talk about fashion, pop culture, everything. I have a personal segment in which we call The Drop. The Drop is all about new sneaker releases. So over the last three years, we've accumulated this crazy collection of sneakers. All right? And so we said, let's, 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 let, these, let's let these amazing You Got Next performers tell us which sneakers they prefer the best. All right? So here we go. On the count of three or excuse me when you say hold that sneaker both kevin and i will put a sneaker up on this screen and then uh, you select one whichever one you select will determine the winner of round three and the winner of this episode's game of championship rounds all right amad all right bro so all you got to do is you you know we say hold that tiger louisiana so on this show we say hold that sneaker all right here we go let let them let them hear it amad hold that sneaker he ain't at LSU yet. Ooh, wait. So you oh. got to go rusting or you got to go. I had to bring that purple. Yeah, he I did. To, that purple go hard. There's too much white on the weather. What's the matter? It's the same. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. It was all been wearing red for you. Oh. Hey, Lamar, them the same <sighs> shoes. I them the same shoes I gave to BJ. He chose my BJ Ojolari chose those sneakers as well. I said I got to do them. Oh, BJ wrong. was wrong too. How about that? He was wrong too. But y'all, y'all go ahead. Louisiana stand up. Y'all do whatever y'all want. To, hey, what, what? How Drake say it, bro? How Drake say it? We going back to back. Yeah, ninety six, ninety seven. All right, Lamar. Let's close this thing out. The title of the show is "You Got Next." Everybody rocking with you now. You a recent commit to. Louisiana Louisiana State University, but in your own words, man, now in the next 10 years, what does the future hold for you? Man, holding that tiger. Bro, that's all I'm saying. That's all, hey, that's all we, That's all it's about. We ain't even been elaborate. We gonna, we gonna have to get you back like after your freshman year, uh, your freshman year on campus, man. We'll let you come on and tell everybody how, how it's been for you. We're gonna keep up with your journey through the rest of this, uh, through the rest of your endeavors. All the way till you playing for them Saints. All right. <laughs> All right, bro, bro. All <laughs> you, right. Got any, you got any shout outs you want to give? Man, I need I need my old line to step up. As much as I don't like them, they may be better. So hey, as much as I don't like them, they may be better than my uh my coach Kyle Williams. And I may may be a different type of player for real. Now, now, now Kevin, you know who Kyle Williams is, right? Former Buffalo Bill, LSU All American, Hall of Fame. Okay. Just yes, I know B. Jones. Okay, LSU. I just want to make sure you respect that. Yes, well, you too. Okay, low to LSU. Okay, stuff. okay I'm, I'm just saying. saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. Okay. All right, I'm all right, to be a part of the family, but you're killing me, man. It's all right, Amart. Who, who else you want to shout out, Amart? You want to shout out, uh, man. Gotta be my man Jordan Gigi, bro. And hey, man, for real, two peas in a pod, for real. So yeah, oh, that's my boy. 
All right, so this is a part of the show where you get a chance to call the person that you think you have next. Tell them, hey, I got a chance to rock with B. Jones and KT. I told them my story, and I want you to do the same thing. With that said, bro, who are you calling out? Who do you think should have next? Calling out Jordan Gidry. Get that man on the phone. All right. Yeah. All right. I actually I sent him a message, too. I, I just want to let you know I sent him a message, too, uh, bro. So let him know that we're trying to reach out. We want to get him on the show. Can't wait to meet that young man. I've heard I heard he a killer, too, KT. Like, if you go to the Louisiana State rankings, it's like, bro, top, like, number 30, Gidry, like, 34. They right, they right there with each other. So them boys, that's a bad combination. I would hate to have to play Rustin this upcoming fall. Ahmad, hey Gidry, you on the clock? We're gonna be reaching out to you, but bro, Ahmad, bro, you the truth, dog. I love your energy. I love what you bring in your tenaciousness. I like your heart, man. You a warrior, and now you are officially a Bayou Bengal. Can't wait for you to put that pen to paper and sign because you a transcender, a transcendent player, and we can't wait to see you perform on the next level. Ahmad, bro, it is official. You got. Next, oh my goodness, y'all, y'all don't understand. I got goosebumps. I'm, I'm, I've been nervous the whole episode. This is what I do this for. I love doing this. I'm a fan of the game, and I, I just, I'm a fan of this young man right here. He is officially part of our family. And listen, you are part of our family too. So don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to to leave some comments. Let us know what you think about this show and share this episode. Let's let let's make this kid go five star. And it's on you. It's all on you. You can do that. You have that type of power by sharing this journey, sharing this story. And uh, don't forget, we go live at eight o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time every Wednesday night. It's a fun show. Like I said earlier, it's not just about sports. We talk about everything, and and we're also everywhere. If you see Sports Life Talk, it's us. It's us, all right? So TikTok, Twitter, it don't matter. Follow us, like us on uh, on those uh, on all those various platforms. KT, man, I'm, I'm feeling too good right now, but I don't know, man. What, what am I forgetting? You didn't forget anything, man. And shout out to you for winning this game. And shout out to bro for joining the LSU. I'm trying to get my spirits up, man. It's just, it's just <laughs> too, too much Louisiana on me. But hey, man, whatever you need from us, bro, please let us know. Congratulations on your decision to go to LSU. I can't wait for the Florida Gators to play against y'all and hopefully win. But you know what? I'm, I'm rooting for you, though, man. Whatever you need from us, please let us know. Hey, bro, they ain't beat us in like four, five years. <laughs> so it's it's going to be a long time before they do. Hey, bro, you what, you what you got to say to them, man? It's only one thing to say. Go Tigers. Go that Tigers. Uh, I'm from Louisiana Sports Life Talk Nation We love y'all Stay safe Be blessed Respect each other And love one another Because together We are better And keep dreaming big Because you never know Your story may be The next one featured On Sports Life Talks You Got Next Yeet See what's crazy is I knew you had next Because you always working You always grinding You're in your bag Because you're always working Like in due time I just I knew you got next Oh, you did it, huh? Crack the code. You got next, you smashing goals. You want next, you need exposure. Well, sports like talk out the baddest show, like the baddest hut in the room. Podcast to tune into just for you to talk your shit. Talk your mushroom. You want what you eat and you should consume. Sports like talk from the late night to the afternoon, then rest repeat. Hit the like, leave a comment, or subscribe so you don't miss a beat. You got next, just a small taste of a winning meal from a chef type of celebrity. What's up next is you, at least you better be. Yeah. You got next, yeah. I can feel it. Just like me, you got next, and what comes next? Tune in next time, and you'll see. Cause if you got next, yeah, if you got next, if you got next, they all just like.